something's leaking. I think it's the neighbor's pool. Just gonna go check for fiberglass bits. I didn't see any uh, fiberglass coming out of the, the hose over there, so that's probably a good thing. We'll look for stains on the ground later on when they're gone. Probably have to be tonight. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm putting outboards away. It's going to freeze tonight, and I've got to get my outboards put away that uh, that have water in them, or that have been in the water. That's turned out nice. Look at that. Okay. That's good. I gotta sand that and then I'll give that a skim coat, but that's not gonna be today. Uh, or tomorrow, probably. <sighs> Many things to do, so little time. Uh, but well, we're getting there. I've got the important stuff put away. The wet outboards, the ones that have been wet, they're put away. I've still got uh, the Tanaka here. It doesn't. Uh, have water in it. It's also got fuel in it. I've got to get out. Uh, and I've got the other two Tanakas here. They're going upstairs here. And I've got a uh, Mercury behind the lawnmower. And the lawnmower is going upstairs too. Yeah, so anyways, I've got a bunch of stuff to move around. But those things are good. I put my 7.5 Johnson in the basement as well as my four horse uh, whatever that thing is Evan Root and the uh, Mr. Hankey's in the basement too so, Mr. Hankey yeah he takes water but I don't know it's better safe than sorry put him in the basement okay um, I've got to go get some stuff and I gotta go get rid of some stuff well, let's get doing that oh I gotta make coffee first coffee than stuff. West winds are moderate with gusting to 40 kilometers per hour this morning. Today's temperature is steady near 6. We'll see clearing this evening with moderate winds and a nighttime low of minus 4. The wind chill is minus 10 overnight. Mainly cloudy tomorrow with a bit of rain mixed with snow early in the afternoon. Winds are light to moderate with a daytime high of plus 4 and a wind chill of minus 10 in the morning. Aye, aye, aye. All that is stuff I don't want to hear. Wind chill, cold, aye, aye, aye. <sighs> I'm just coming from the shop. I dropped off some stuff over there. And uh, everything's looking good there. They've paved the road uh, up front, which is nice. It's kind of smooth now. A lot smoother than what it was. And we've got new neighbors. The hair salon that was across the street now has a, <laughs> a travel trailer in the driveway and a, um, like a gut truck, like a lunch truck or a uh, confectionery truck, but it's a coffee truck, uh, but it's a, a trailer in the, the back parking there. So we'll see what, uh, what comes of uh, our neighbors, uh, whether or not there's a coffee shop that opens up next door or, or what, you never know. Could be a hair salon again. They fixed the sign. The construction crew that was doing the road backed into their sign. Uh, well, we'll find out when uh, when all that happens. So one of the things I have to do today is go get rid of my used oil oil changes in the cars. Jugs of oil, because I have been, I've just been putting it in containers and storing it. So, we will uh, get rid of this stuff. I have to run it out to the, the uh, dump, though, to get 
group. But, so let's do that. And then let's find a piece of tin. Day, sir. I've got oil from changing the oil. Yep, second building on the left. Thank you. Car weighs 2,300 pounds. Yeah, I think that was in pounds. Could have been in kilograms. Didn't want. Here's the uh, waste place. City of London Household Special Waste Depot. Can't my pocket. Let's get out of here. Well, since we've got that out of the way, now uh, let's get on with our day. I've got to find a piece of tin. Because I'm going to meet a guy today bend that tin and that's for a little, uh, little project I'm doing at the shop. I want to reinforce the uh, front door of the shop. It's been a ton of break-ins in the area. My place is right on a corner. It's high visibility but either way I want to have a piece of tin on the door. It'll just be a sleeve that goes over the uh, the latch and the knobs. Uh, it'll it'll just look more secure, really. Well it seems I'm not gonna get my tin today, fortunately. We'll uh I'll pick up tomorrow maybe. I'm at just at the opposite end of town. I thought I'd pop by a uh, tin place I knew of uh, use in the past, but uh, they've moved. So oh, well, it's. Uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll get whatever we get uh, tomorrow. I was just out at Princess Auto. Looking, looking for a piece of, of metal, tin. I need a piece of 20 gauge that's uh, 14 by 12. My beautiful wife's home. She's carrying a crock pot. Corn beef and cabbage. Yum. Well, I'm, you can tell I'm back home because of my beautiful wife. Uh, it's grandma's birthday today, so Heidi's, uh, well, we're making dinner. We're going to have some uh, curry chicken and uh, oh, some chickpea uh, curry stuff that I made. Wow, delicious. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Click the clicky things and uh, we've got a piece of tin that's uh, 14 by 12. You're not doing anything with 20 gauge will work for me. Perfect. Uh, Failing that, i got to go to Metal Supermarkets tomorrow. Where I'm off to tomorrow. Thanks for watching.